how to reference APA 7th edition. There is perhaps no kind of source more frequently referenced and cited in academia than a journal article. Therefore, today we're going to cover how to create a reference entry for a journal article, whether it's a print journal or an online journal. When creating a reference entry for a journal article, we're going to follow the standard prescribed order outlined by APA 7th edition. That means we begin with the author, we follow that through with the date, the title of the work, and then the location. So in accordance with APA 7th edition, we begin with the author. The surname or family name will come first and will be closed out with a comma. In this case, we have Gambino comma. The initials of any names included in publication will follow the surname and will be closed out with a period. In this case, C period. The author's name is followed with the year of publication, which is placed in parentheses and is also closed out with a period. Once we have the date, we're going to follow that up with the article title, which will likewise be closed out with a period. Because the article title is a short work, it will not be italicized. Moreover, because the article has a title and not a proper name, we will not use proper name capitalization. Instead, we will simply capitalize the first word, the first word of the subtitle, and any proper names, initializations, or acronyms that appear in the article title. The article title is followed by the name of the journal, which is closed out with a comma rather than a period because we still need to add some information in order to locate the article within the journal. Now there are some formatting differences between the article title and the journal's name. For example, the journal is the larger work, so it must be italicized in contrast with the article title, which is not. Likewise, the article title isn't a proper name, but the journal's name is a proper name. So you will capitalize everything except for prepositions and conjunctions that are less than four letters or the words the, a, and an, unless they're at the beginning of a sentence. Now you may have noticed that the journal's name is actually on the second line of the reference. APA uses a hanging indent for the reference page. This means that the first line will be left aligned, but those underneath of it will be indented 0 0.5 inches or 1.27 centimeters. The volume number and issue number will follow. Two key points. The volume number will be in italics because it is a larger work that contains issues, the smaller works. The issues will not be in italics, but to differentiate the two numbers, we will put them in parentheses. The volume and issue number are typically followed by a page range. However, if the article is published strictly online and doesn't have page numbers, you can simply put the article number or e-locator after the issue and close it out with a period. If there are page numbers, introduce the first and last page numbers and link them with a hyphen before closing them out with a period. If you're creating a reference entry for a print version of the journal article, there's no further information required. However, most people will access journal articles online in which case you need to provide an electronic source. To do this, you have three options. First, you can provide the DOI number. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier, and this initialization will actually be put in lower case for your reference entry. It will be followed by a colon and then the DOI number. Now, special note, do not put a space between the colon that follows DOI and the DOI number itself. If there isn't a DOI number, but the source does provide a DOI link, then you can put the DOI link instead of the DOI number. If you cannot find the DOI number or link, you can simply copy and paste the URL. However, the DOI is preferred because most URLs will have a university specific ID within them that prohibits anybody from outside of the university to accessing that source, making it difficult for many readers to open up those sources. Special note, 
when providing a link, the seventh edition of APA actually requires that they be hyperlinked, unlike the sixth edition. So do keep that in mind when referencing electronic sources. Now you have an outline for what you need to do in order to create a reference entry for a journal article. However, if you have any questions about AP setting and referencing or any other writing issues, don't hesitate to book an appointment with the writing support desk. Be sure to book early because our appointments do fill out quick. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.